What's up, YouTube? And y'all with another video. And man, I am getting tired of seeing people revining this dude's videos. And the dude don't even follow what the hell he preaches. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if you like watching Vine videos and you know you go to those Vine sites with all those Vine videos where you can click the next button to see the next Vine, next Vine, next Vine. I'm getting tired of seeing this dude say shit like this, man. And he did one video and you know saying these women need to. To quit twerking and read the Bible and go to church and get Jesus or something like that. Well, he just made a part two of that. And everyone's putting it on their damn Vine channels. So, you know what? I'm going to do a video on it because, you know, someone needs to put the dude in his place. He ain't following his damn scriptures for for shit, dude. You know, he's not following his damn scriptures for shit. I mean, one, the, the dude quotes songs that are about lust, drug abuse, drug references, and, you know, just mainstream music in general, which a Christian should not be listening because it speaks of nothing but sin. And... There, y'all know the scripture. If you see my videos, there's a scripture where, where it talks about he who uh, surrounds himself with the wise becomes wise. He he who surrounds himself with fools will end in sorrow, which is what he's doing. He's keeping his surroundings uh, with fools in the Christian context. I'm listening to mainstream music. Um, the dude talks about, you know, checking women's asses out. You know, the booty had me like, or some shit like that. It's lust. A Christian cannot be doing these things because, you know, the Bible is totally against it. And, you know, in some of his vines, he's saying some of y'all need to start reading the Bible. And I've seen that vine too. And it's just, dude, you don't even follow the damn Bible, man. You don't even follow the damn Bible. Hell, vine is filled with sin, man. That's not surrounding yourself with the wise of the wise to become wise. That's surrounding yourself with fools, which is going to end you in sorrow like that scripture says. <clears throat> and I'm not going to pull out the scripture because, you know, I, I don't want to really. But if you want to, you want me to give you the scripture or where it says it, I'll be more than happy to give it to you. Just leave a comment below and I'll I'll give it to you. <clears throat> but um yeah, Christians should not be listening to rap music or anything that's lustful drug references or viewing something with drug references, viewing something with any kind of thing that 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 is sin because the Bible easily says that you shouldn't be having that in your surrounding. And what Nash Greer, I don't know how old the dude is. He's probably about 17, 18. What he's doing is just hypocrisy, man. You know, he's trying to use Vine, you know, by sinning with the sinners, but then trying to play the role of a good Christian, <clears throat> which is hypocrisy. And it makes zero sense. Mm -mm. It really makes zero sense, though. You know, like, what kind of Christian sins with the sinners, but in the end tries to play the good role model of a Christian? You can't do that. There's a scripture where God, it's in Romans, where God easily states that the people who live by their own choices and repent over and over again and go back into their daily life are considered backstabbers of God. Which is pretty much what he's doing. Because he says he goes to church. So he'll sin throughout the week. But Sunday, you know, he all, he goes all Christian and stuff. And that's probably when he makes these Christian vines. Because he feels the Holy Spirit going through him or whatever. It's a sin. Okay? It's a sin to sin with the sinners. It's a sin. Shit. This video is just going to be a short one. 
Because there's nothing more I can say. It's just I'm tired of hearing the. You need to get Jesus in you. When you're on damn Vine. Which is a social network site. Which you're not even using the social network site. Of how a Christian should use it. If a Christian were to use Vine. Everything would have to do with God. Nothing about you. Because you have to prove devoting, you're devoting your life to God, which the Bible states that you should. What you're doing, some of the things you post are not holy at all, you know. You can, you can make funny Christian videos without sinning. But you choose not to. You choose to quote mainstream music. Hell, even have your your little sister uh, quote some of the mainstream music with you. What what kind of a Christian role model are you being? You're not being a very good Christian role model. Because if you were being a good Christian role model, you wouldn't want her to listen to those mainstream music. Because that could pollute her brain into becoming, you know, something in the fu- further in the future, you know. A Christian should only listen to Christian music because in the Bible it does say that you got to devote your life to God. I mean, I didn't tell you to choose Christianity. You chose it yourself. So when you choose to become Christian, you need to understand the laws, the rules, the regulations of the Bible. You hear what I'm saying? You can't, Christianity is not one of those religions where you can just... Choose a scripture and say, I'm good. I don't need to follow any other scripture. The Bible easily states that it's in Joshua. I don't know what part of Joshua, but it states that the Bible is the law of God. The whole Bible is the law of God. So, you know... A Christian cannot be picking and choosing what's good and what's bad. You know, that's that's not of what God wants you to do. God easily stated in the Bible that um, it's his law. And if it wasn't his law, it wouldn't be put in the Bible. Because every one of those people had contact. They were the chosen ones to be in the Bible. If they weren't chosen, they wouldn't have been in the Bible. You know? Now you can say all the shit you want, but what's in the Bible is what's in the Bible. You cannot do a lot of the things that you're doing, Nash. You can't be doing a lot of that shit. And you need to be a good Christian role model to your sister if you're oh so holy. You know? I didn't tell you to pick your religion, man. You picked it on your own. Or your parents raised you into it. And they obviously did a bad job on it. Because, see, if a Christian were to use Vine, here's the correct way a Christian should use a Vine. A Christian would want to use Vine to uh, promote Christianity activity. A Christian would want to promote and try to persuade sinners to become Christian. To try to, you know, try to make funny Christian videos and get people to revine them type deal. You know, saying Christians can have a sense of humor too. It's just very holy uh, sense of humor. And it's not the, the booty was like it had me like, ooh. Or, turn up, ooh, ah, a turn up. And uh, what else? Um, Apple bottom jeans with the boots and the fur. I'm trying to think of all these damn vines I've seen this dude quote, which songs are so much fucking sin. And yet, he's a Christian man quoting them. You can't be doing that. Get your head in the game, bro. You're not following the Bible like you say you are. So, uh, yeah. I'm out. Peace.